watching Hollywood Today Weekend Edition, and you can do that every day at 10 a.m. on BitesizeTV.com forward slash live. But not every day is it the weekend edition. No, that's right. Just today. That's right. I am Kristen Brockman. That's right, she is. And I'm AJ Gibson, and I'm so excited about our first guest today, you guys. She's a soap opera royalty, one of the stars of my favorite, The Young and the Restless. But she's also a writer, director, celebrating a Daytime Emmy nomination for her short, My Promise. Let's take a look. How is this me? How did my life in a split second go from... Don't you even think about leaving me, sweet girl. 16 years ago today, we were in this hospital when you were born. And just a couple hours ago, I saw you drive away with the biggest smile on your face. Now this... It's a parent's biggest nightmare. Yeah, hello. This is my biggest nightmare. This is my birthday. You guys, I cannot contain wow. myself right now. Let's get this started. Please welcome Laura Lee Bell. Yeah. Oh, oh. I like it. Oh, oh, oh. oh shoulders. Yeah, go with the shoulders, shoulders, like, shoulders. We used to wear shoulder pads in the 80s. Yeah. Like, and we had to do concerts. We just all knew. We did that. <laughs> welcome. And then, voila. Oh, yeah. You're Boy, a class act. Of, I love it. Of concerts. <laughs> yeah. You are actually going to a concert soon, you I said. I went to the 1D concert last Woo! night. I was at the fault of our... The fault, the fault the fault our stars, stars. Yeah. I just can't say it, but yeah, yeah I'm a hip mom. You are. Thank a hip you very mom. much. Yeah. So you're taking your daughter to the One Direction concert. I am. Awesome I am. mom, and you have fourth row seats. Well, I tell her that. I think they're yeah. between, you know, twenty. Have you, have and, you been and to zero. one of these before? I have. It's so the you know what to expect. In my really? Life. It was really great, though. You know what? They admit they can't dance. Like I should have already said that. I'm just not a big dancer. Yeah. They like straight up say we're not dancers. We're just five great guys who can. Do their thing. You know what? I'm, I think they're. I think they're very. You are mom I think they're of the very year. nice gentlemen. You are mother of the year. I would take any of year. them as my son-in-law. Well, no, being a mom yet. to two. Yes. Are both of your kids teenagers? Eleven and thirteen. Okay, so so or preteens. Was being a mom to kids of that age kind of um, where you got your inspiration for the My Promise yeah, series? It is. You know, I mean, I'm. I like to have fun with life. I love to text. I love um, all of this stuff. But the reality is. Our kids today are attached to this phone, and it just it's not acceptable when you're driving. And we all have to kind of retrain ourselves. And my nieces and nephews are learning how to drive, and their first, you know, their first outing is on Sunset Boulevard. And I know they're saying, I'll be there in five, and I'll be there. And it's, it's just, And so, you know, I just wanted to create a character that kids could identify with and say, you know, I really relate to this girl. I just, I can't do it. Because unfortunately, until sometimes people lose a real yeah. friend or someone gets hurt, they don't get it. So I just, I, I jumped about it and thought about it and we had the access to these great, um, you know, actors and our, our web group and, well, and it's so. It's a beautiful web series. Thank you. And um, what, 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 what do you say to people who, because I hear this, this argument often, I try to put my phone away. Yeah. I try to lock it away. I've gotten so much better at it, but I still, I'm one of those people who I'm like, oh, I'm at a stoplight. Well, and that's the biggest thing yeah. I hear. I'll do it at the stoplight. You know, I've trained myself just not to do it. And once you do, and you kind of look around and see everybody doing it. The other day we were going to the, to yeah. the Kings game. and. Our driver, who was a friend of ours, my husband and our friend was sitting in the front seat and they were looking at the traffic. And I said, I said, you know, my husband can look at that. You know, don't worry, he'll do it. And he said, and you see these dots here? These are people ahead of us telling us that there's traffic. Oh, you're and I was like, ways. yes. Ways. Oh, and I was ways. like, wait. You know, it's not just kids. Like, uh -huh. they're they're making up this thing to like now say, oh, we're well, stuck in yeah. like, yes. why? But why you know are what we doing does this? Do, which is kind of interesting. I actually just noticed this last night. It gives yes. you the option if your car is moving, okay. it will not start the navigation. You have to choose passenger oh. to prove that day. you're the passenger in the car. So they're, they're trying, I okay. think, to kind of I, I work totally, on some of those. I, I just, you know, our kids watch us and we all kind of follow. Right. Suit. We well, just have to so stop it. It's been so successful this series. It's nominated for a daytime Emmy, yes. which is awesome. <laughs> and you, uh, it won a Telly Award. Yeah. And so, since this series has been so successful, do you think you'll plan to do more of those that tackle other issues that teens are dealing with? You know, we've had a lot of comments about that. Um, I just sort of, I've been working so much on Young and Restless that we'll kind of ride through this mm -hmm. exciting Emmy run. And did you and ever I, think that this is what, would, like, something like this would give you another, like, an Emmy nomination? Did you think it was going to be 
I'm a soap actress and this is what I do. Did you yeah. ever think that they would go this route? I didn't, but you know, my whole thing is like, I really haven't thought about the awards that much. My just, my hope is if we're lucky enough to win, that it will take it to a place where it can kind of get out there to so many more viewers. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So like, I just really want to win for that reason. Cause I feel like as soon as you are Emmy, not, you know, an Emmy the win, message gets out. right. The message gets out more. Well, so. this is a part of the interview where I should just leave <laughs> because <laughs> AJ is just a diehard young and the restless fan who's so pumped that you're here. I am. Yeah. And so he's we, yeah. fanboying out. We had a moment off camera. Like we had some. We, we've had some. Oh, we, we had more than a moment. Oh, we had a few <laughs> moments. We sure did. Uh, but we've had some really phenomenal guests in here. We've been really, really blessed in this studio. And this is the moment I've. I've I haven't geeked out quite like this for somebody. I, I've been watching you on The Young and the Restless, Cricket. Now, Christine, yes. because you've grown up. And you're gonna say um, like, for like yeah. for, you're gonna, I've been watching you for 50 years. I love when I get that. No, I'm but just uh, like, oh my I, God. since I was since I was about five. Yeah. And you have not aged a day. Oh, well, that's you very, look that's fantastic. Awesome. Thank you. Um, what? <laughs> so many things have happened in Young and the Restless. Young of the Restless in particular in the yep. last year yep. with the loss of Jeannie Cooper yep. and then Michelle Stafford leaving and Billy leaving yep. and so many of these legacy characters, Michael right. Muni gone. Right. Right. Um, Thanks for pointing all that no, out. No, but <laughs> but you guys' numbers are still up. And they you guys are. Are, just got picked up for like three more seasons right. uh, not and, too long and ago. And what I told you, the little tidbit, is that I mean, it's always good, but starting next week really jumps this six-week unbelievable storyline really? which you know times out wonderfully for summer and yeah. and and I'm gonna call you and make sure that you're watching yes. Yes. Well, I, I'm curious like how proud must you be like this is your family's legacy your family I created this series and for it to go through most shows go through that many changes losing that many like major actors right. they struggle they might, might not make it you guys are thriving how do you do it um, well, I think it's a lot because, well, first of all, amazing, like what you were saying, your grandmother had you watch, and so it's it's multi-generational, people can watch it together, and I just think because so many of the actors are still there, mm -hmm. you know, life changes and things get crazy, but, and shows come on and off, but for Young and Restless, we are there every day at 11, 11.30, mm -hmm. 12, wherever you are, and it's like we're consistent, we're not going to leave you, we're not going to right. abandon you. If you die, you're going to come back. <laughs> right. And exactly. Not, not, not only yeah, exactly. Not only are you just there though. You guys have been number one in the daytime ratings for 25, 26 years, something Woo! straight. That's crazy. That, I mean. When you hear shows that come on now and they get two episodes and then they're gone, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's so unfortunate. And we've and, seen we've seen so many great soap operas not make it in recent years. Yep. You know, shows that have right. been on for 50 plus years. And I think why we're doing so well is because there was suddenly this fear of oh my gosh we're losing these shows and we were lucky enough to get audience from other shows that are no longer. How does, how does the writing team keep it so fresh? I don't know. I like, can't imagine because me you know my father never had a hiatus with with shows. There's always like you know you you work your butt off and then you get a break. He, we had between Christmas and New Year's off, and he was just this fun-loving guy who was so jolly, and mm -hmm. you know how he had all these characters in his head, and and stayed such a you know present father and and just a fun guy. I don't know how he did it. But. Real quickly before we let you go, yeah. I know that Christine and Paul are now they're back together. Oh yes, they're trying to have a baby. But there's a big but. Start, well, 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 it's not my big but. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's a there's a but in the storyline that will start next in week. Ne oh gosh. it's so good. It's gonna be a fun summer. So good. Fun summer. Well, a fun day. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. And thank you. She Sorry made a video. You. You'll she have made, to watch. She oh, made no, a video for my mom off camera that I'm going to post on Twitter, Aww. you guys. And my mom is already freaking out about it. I've gotten text messages all morning long. So you are a gem. Thank you. Thank you so much for Thanks, stopping guys. by. Really Best of luck. It. You guys, congratulations again on the Daytime Emmy nomination. Uh, um, make sure you check out Laura Lee's work as the writer, director, and co star whew, of My Promise on MyPromise.com. Tune in to The Young and the Restless weekdays on CBS. That's right. Stay tuned for that yes. big butt. Yes. Yes. And coming <laughs> up, comedian and think like a man two star Gary Owen is in the house plus alicia sits down with shailene woodley and ansel elgort hope i said that right for the fault in our stars coming up on hollywood today live weekend hey. edition